Jay Dub is back out of here to give everyone my very first Breaking Bad Season 2 episode reaction video. But before I continue with that, it's extremely important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Breaking Bad, that you take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course I'll put in the description for you. If that's the case and you find out that you're not caught up, I would suggest, and I'm pretty sure everyone else would too, that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be the season two per premiere of Breaking Bad, season two, episode number one. The title of this episode is called 737. This will be my reaction review recap of the episode. We start off kind of with uh, the things that happened at the end of the last season where uh, Tuco viciously assaults his lieutenant, I guess, no dose, after he speaks to Walt in Tuco's place. And then after Tuco departs, Walt calculates the amount of money he will need to provide for his family. In all, to keep them good, if Walt dies, oh, when Walt dies, uh, concluding that the figure is about $737. $737,000, I should say. And then Tuco suddenly returns, demanding that Walt save an unresponsive no-dose. Unfortunately, there's nothing Walt can do. There's nothing Jesse can do. No-dose dies. And after he dies, Gonzo, the other man, and Tuco's, uh, his other bodyguard, essentially, uh, states that he should move the body because that's not that's a Christian thing to do. But Tuco refuses and leaves it in the junkyard. And then Walt and Jesse, after that part ways, with Jesse going home, Skyler finds Walt standing at the television, and he subsequently forces himself on her because he gets turned on by that shit now. And uh, she makes him stop. Walt then sits by the pool and is later found by Walter Jr. Meanwhile, Jesse acquires a firearm from a hot dog restaurant. And then the next day, he tells Walt that he believes Tuco poses a threat and must be taken care of. Walt points out that shooting him would end badly. And they seem kind of clueless on what to do about the Tuco situation for now. And then elsewhere, Skylar refuses to answer phone calls from, his, from Marie. Uh, and then Marie and Hank uh, argue about whether or not she attempted to schedule a dinner with Skylar in a way that uh, conflicts with uh, another appointment that she has for therapy, revealing that Marie reluctantly goes to therapy for unspecified reasons at the moment. And then at the DEA office, Hank's uh, partner, uh, Steve Gomez, shows him footage of Walt and Jessely's methylamine robbery. And then Hank dismisses their ability as thieves, but is intrigued by the fact that the unknown peristilled methylamine and used thermite to enter the warehouse. Uh, Steve Gomez speculates that they may be college-age chemistry students, and Hank hints that the uh, two will encounter difficulty from uh, the drug cartels for disrupting the meth trade. And then Walt becomes worried when he notices an SUV parked near his house with all of Tuco's craziness, and spends the night watching the street with a knife uh, close by. Jesse encourages Walt to also purchase a gun, hoping to double their chances of success in the event of a shooting. Instead, Walt proposes that they kill Tuco in more of a clandestine way, using ricin made from uh, castor beans. Uh, Hank visits Skylar and asks her to make up with Marie, Skylar responds angrily, stating that uh, her situation is worse than her sister's. And then Hank and Skylar both realize that the other knows about uh, Marie's uh, shoplifting. And that's apparently what she's going to counseling for because she's a kleptomaniac. Anyway, Walt and Jesse produce the ricin, hoping to trick Tuco into poisoning himself by placing it next to in the next meth delivery. As they finish their work, Walt receives a phone call from Hank, who's at a crime scene and Hank has said that he screwed up in speaking to Skylar. Walt forgives him, he doesn't really care. And then it's revealed that the crime scene Hank is investigating is the junkyard, and that Gonzo has apparently accidentally died in a botched attempt to move Nodos' body. But Hank doesn't tell Walt that yet, because Walt gets off the phone before that happens, so he thinks that Gonzo was murdered. So that's interesting. So... Walt and Jesse, uh, in fear that Tuco killed Gonzo, of course, and that Walt insists that Jesse leave town, and then Walt returns home where he avoids answering questions for Skyler, and he receives a phone call and uh, goes outside, and the episode ends with Jesse being held at gunpoint in his car by Tuco, and then Tuco 
forces Walt to enter the car. And that's how the, the premiere episode of Season 2 ends. Pretty good stuff. Tuco is absolutely insane. There is no reason for him to beat up no-dos like that. Of course, that happened at the end of last season. But for him to die from like seven or eight punches, I don't know if that really would happen. But I guess you never know with things. So I'm going to give the episode an 8.4 out of 10. Uh, obviously, I know this is setting up a bigger episode for episode two, which is technically, in my opinion, the end of season one. But I don't think they realized how far the show would go and how popular it would become. And then my character of the episode is Walt. I mean... The characters of these these episodes are going to be Walt, Jesse, most of the time. Every once in a while, I'll give it to somebody else. Maybe I need to think of a standout moment of the episode or something like that. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it is your turn. So if you're a fan of Breaking Bad and you liked this series and thought it was one of the best TV shows ever, Emmy awarding TV, Emmy award winning TV show, go ahead and smash that like button. If you know anybody that would be interested in this, share the video with them. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Maybe you don't remember the episode well, but we can talk about anything Breaking Bad related. I would assume if you're watching this video, you have already seen this series many times. And then of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.